The MLB season has been full of excitement, and now Shohei Otani, one of the biggest stars in baseball today, is about to achieve a historic feat the Japanese player, who has already enchanted the world with his unique ability to play both as a pitcher and a batter, could become the first full-time designated hitter to win the National League MVP award. This milestone would be unprecedented in the history of Major League Baseball and would certainly give fans and experts alike a lot to talk about. But before we go into the details about this possibility and discuss Otani's real chances of winning this title, take the opportunity to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way, you won't miss any updates on the Dodgers. The last player who came closest to achieving this feat was Don Baylor, a former Angels outfielder who came close to being the American League MVP in 1979. Baylor played as a designated hitter in 65 games, played in 98 games as an outfielder and also played one game as a first baseman. However, he failed to win the award as a full-time designated hitter. This means that if Otani does, he will be the first player in history to win the award while playing solely as a designated hitter for an entire season. It is worth noting that other full-time designated hitters have been finalists for the award and come very close to winning. One example of this is David Ortiz of the Boston Red Sox, who finished second in 2005 despite receiving 11 first-place votes. This shows that the path to the MVP award is not easy for someone who does not contribute defensively to the team. This is precisely the point that generates debate. To what extent does a designated hitter, who does not play defense, deserve to win the title of most valuable player? Many argue that the MVP award should be considered players who excel both offensively and defensively, since they impact the game more fully. However, pitchers, who also do not tend to contribute offensively, have won the award before. One example of this is Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Clayton Kershaw, who was crowned National League MVP in 2014 despite not providing much value to the team's offense. On this issue, Kershaw recently told Orange County Register reporter Bill Plunkett that, the MVP should reflect what's most valuable in the game. Sure, defense plays a role, but if you're so good offensively that you outweigh that need, then you deserve the award too. In Otani's case, while he doesn't contribute defensively, he's not just a home run hitter. He's on pace to become the first player in MLB history to hit 50 home runs and 50 stolen bases in the same season. Few players in league history have combined power at the bat with speed on the bases like he has. Otani currently leads the National League in home runs with 44 and is second in the major leagues in stolen bases with 46. An impressive combination that makes him unique in today's landscape. To give you an idea of how rare this is, the only player in the National League who comes close to Otani's home run and base stealing abilities is New York Mets shortstop Francisco Linder. Linder also contributes defensively as the team's everyday shortstop, which makes him a significant contender for the National League MVP award. Now we want to hear from you, Dodgers fan. What do you think about Shohei Otani becoming the first full-time designated hitter to win the National League MVP award? Do you think he deserves it, even without contributing defensively? Leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for the latest Dodgers updates.